Each year there is a growing number of young people who come to therapy for different reasons. And while in a different video I will explain the scientific models of development of mental health problems, in here I want to talk about one foundational underlying problem. We seek happiness all the time. You come to therapy because you're unhappy of something, right? It might be you're unhappy of your relationship or your children's behavior or your life in general. Well, don't get me wrong. There is nothing wrong with seeking happiness. I seek happiness all the time myself. I love my career. I love my clinic. I love my clients. Um, and I work on... Uh, ha becoming more and more successful and that gives me happiness and having relationship with my loved ones and that gives me happiness etc etc so there's nothing wrong about seeking happiness and in fact at times in the past I've gone to therapists um, telling them that I'm unhappy about something but there is a life lesson I have learned which summarizes happiness and these are not my words Many speakers, I've borrowed these from many speakers and influencers who have expanded on the topic of happiness in this way. The first time I started thinking differently about happiness was 20 years ago, when I graduated my first degree from my first degree in psychology. I graduated from a psychology degree, I was really excited. I love to become a psychologist. I feel like I was born to become a psychologist. And in fact, in the 20 years, I only loved it more and more. So I was really happy, right? And at the time, I just found a book. It was, it was a book, I don't even remember what book it was, but it was a book on happiness. So I found this book on happiness and I started reading this book on happiness. The first page of the book, when I opened the book, the first page of the book, had two sentences. The first sentence said, life is hard. And if you accept this fact about life and be able to live with it in peace, you have found happiness. And those two sentences were stuck in my mind for a very, very long time. For quite many, many years, I thought about happiness in terms of being at peace with the challenges that you face and i have thought about my own personal experiences and the experience that my clients are having and all of this um, seeking of happiness that we have in happiness obsessed societies the second time was when i was reading a book i actually remember this time, remember the name, when I was reading the book uh, Maybe You Need to Talk to Someone by Laurie Gottlieb. And uh, Laurie is a therapist herself, she's an author, so she is invited to write a book on happiness. And she's excited, she, ac she accepts the book contract um, and they pay her a deposit. Then writing this book about happiness becomes an unhappiness in Lori's life. So she spends quite some time thinking about this book on happiness which is making her life in fact miserable and eventually she decides to turn down the contract, return the deposit and altogether forget about the book on happiness. And she says, when I thought about the book on happiness there is actually only one true sentence I can say about happiness. And that one sentence is that happiness is sometimes. So if I combine these two lessons together, happiness is sometimes and life is full of challenges for everyone. And challenges come in different packages for different people, right? For someone might be health 
issues, for someone might be having childhood traumas, for someone might be um, financial problems. Challenges come in different packages. And unfortunately, there is no fair distribution of challenges between people. Yes, it's true, some people have more challenges, some people have life less challenges, but more or less everyone face, faces a lot of challenges. So now, about coming to therapy. By coming to therapy, you will learn, or therapy helps you to learn your inner experiences that are making you unhappy, right? By coming to therapy, you will become more resilient. You will learn to deal with life challenges. So there is no magic to delete life challenges, but you will learn to deal with life challenges in a more peaceful way. You become content with your life, with your life package, whatever it is. And of course, you learn to change your interaction with your environment. So invitably, you will reduce some of those life challenges. And I have been a therapist for 20 years. It's a bit hard to believe, but I graduated from a Bachelor of Clinical Psychology in 2001. So exactly 20 years ago. Welcome to Therapy House. And thank you for watching so far this video about a therapy house. In a different video, I will tell you a bit more about my own experiences and what we would like to achieve in Therapy House and the models of therapy uh, we use, etc. Watch this space for a number of videos to come uh, where we will talk about parenting, we will have a panel of experts talking about ADHD and many different topics which are useful for parents, which are useful for individuals and are useful for also young psychologist. Thank you.